Hello guys, so welcome to Care Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting and exhibition stall in 3ds Max. So let's get started. Simultaneously a other tutorial will also continue with it. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request. So very first of all let's take some references. I will go into file, view image file. I am not using any kind of dimensions over here. So if you want to utilize the dimensions you can go with the dimensions for feet inches whatever so I have already taken some of the references so this is one of the reference which I'll be using first so let's take a plane over here or you can even take a box much better so now how you can create such kind of a shape as you can see over here you have uh, something like this which is uh, created over here so for the top let's first uh, select the overall top for overall top what I can do over here is like I can take I can go into this I can take a rectangle over here for now like this after that I can convert to editable spline select this and this let's go into this and you have an option called fillet over here so let's add a fillet to this so once you have added a fillet as you can see after adding a fillet it has become a curve over here now you can slightly just shuffle this up and you have a modifier over here called extrude modifier so let's just assign an extrude modifier over here for now so once you have assigned this extrude modifier now as you see over here there is one more shape something like this so if you look at it you can see the shape over here if you want I can again go into this view image file if you want some other reference to see how it looks like you can take some other references that's totally okay we'll shift this down so you you see that you have something over here in round shape so what I'll do over here is like I'll again go over here and let's take again a rectangle I'll again take a rectangle till here let's take a rectangle after taking a rectangle we have an option over here that's called a circle so let's just define a circle over here so till what area you want to define a circle so define a circle After that, slightly just push this up, excluding this, select this spline, push it up and let's convert to editable spline over here. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, I can select this and I'll go into this and I'll attach it. So you can just attach it, you can select this spline part over here and you have an option that is called boolean, you can uh, subtract this, you can subtract this, can you see this, the subtraction part, so subtraction you can utilize the subtraction part over here and you can easily subtract this, so once you have subtracted this part again you can go into this select this part and you have option called fillet so you can easily uh, use a bit of fillet over here so let's use the fillet option over here now what I can do over here is like I can again take a circle right from here 
I can just take a circle over here in this way. I can place the circle. First select this. Let's again give an extrude modifier. So I can just assign an extrude modifier and increase this extrusion of it. So I'll again go into this front view, assign an extrusion, select this, slightly just push this up over here, select this and you can also assign again an extrude modifier over here. So I can just again go to the front view over here. I can just touch this up. I can slightly push this more down till here. As you can see. So once you are done with this, now what I can do over here is like, I think we don't need to give the part because we need the straight part. So I can just delete this extrusion. I'll again select this and I'll delete it. Again, I'll go to the top view over here and we have a insert option over here. We have a insert option and close it. Oops. So select this and push it up in straight line, go to the top view again and just slightly just adjust this over here. Now again give the extrude modifier. So now well, this is perfect now. First, I'll just save it once. I'll again save it. So, let's go into this. And let's just save this file over here. After that, select this part. If you think this is totally okay. So convert to, you can still uh, shuffle this down. Convert to editable poly. Select this polygons. Control select this polygons. And let's give a bit of inset over here. So you can slightly assign a bit of inset to it. That's it. So once you have assigned this inset over here and I can just click on bridge option so you can easily bridge this element I can slightly shuffle this more down if required so that can be done over here so if you look at it and slightly just increase this over here now select this convert to editable poly and I'll just add one connect over here okay. so you can just select this edge remove this remove this again select this And let's give one connect. Select the vertices. R and scale this. 
and slightly just shuffle it behind much better so again you can shuffle it more and more behind over here so select this polygons over here and let's slightly give extrude over here and just push this down so slightly you can shuffle it behind as required so definitely we need to shuffle this behind if you look at it this is uh, far behind so we can shuffle it more back over here select this uh, so I can just select I can go into the vertices and I can push this more behind So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.